Thank you guys for tuning in. My name's Charles and you are watching Charles Soulbox TV. So for sure you guys already know from the video title that today's video is going to be focusing on the right cross. I'm going to show you a few variations in how you can throw the right cross and therefore improve the power after that combination of the one two and also the two one two. So let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so the right cross, we want to focus on a few things to improve the delivery of our right cross. From the static stance position, when we're throwing the right cross, we're simply rotating the back foot. By rotating the back foot, we've got a kinetic link between our shoulder, elbow, hip, knee, and ankle. So when we rotate from this position, all of these joint areas rotate, and then you can see the, the new position. So our right shoulder is in front of our left, our right hip is in front of our left hip, and our knees are slightly along the same line. Okay, so if I just do that again, there. And then that is the position that we want to get into for a static right cross. So again, from the side, boom. Again, boom. So with the right foot, the back foot, we have a push and that generates a rotation. Okay, we don't want to slide the foot we want to make sure that we have a good position on the back foot and we push through to generate that rotation. Arm position, we want the elbow touching the torso. The right hand is here, sitting on the right side of the chin. And then when we throw the right cross, it comes straight down here. We don't release yet, now we release. And then we th turn through and make sure that we can either have the fist like this, but the Cuban style is where we have the thumb down, okay, and we generate torque at the end. So from the static position, that is how we throw our right cross. When we throw our right cross moving forward, we can throw this by stepping forward initially with the left foot, bar, and then stepping and rotating with the right foot. Boom, okay, we rotate into position. From the side, ba, ba, okay. So by the time our right foot touches the floor, we want to have already rotated into the correct position. It's the same position that we have with the static, but we take a step with that. So commonly a problem that I find in boxing is that when we throw a one-two, Normally, boxers leave that back foot behind when they throw a one-two. That's a common problem that I see with many boxers. So we would throw the jab like this, and then we would step with the right foot and throw the right cross at the same time. Bah, okay, just like that. Now, obviously, the problem that you want to avoid is where we throw the jab, boom, and then try to throw the right cross from this position. The reason why many people might be doing that is because they're in contact with the ground and they feel they have that sensation that they're turning, okay? Turning with the right foot gives them that impression that they're generating the maximum amount of power for that punch. Power is a good thing to think about when we're throwing the right cross, but also distance is another thing. When we throw that initial jab, ba, okay, you have to assume that if you've come into contact with your opponent, they're going to go back. So if you throw the right cross here, boom, you're only throwing it to the same position that you threw the jab to. Now with the right cross, it would be better for you to throw the jab and then step forward with the right foot as you did with the left. So ba, Bah, okay, and you can see I approach my opponent more so with that right cross after the jab, okay? And that's simply what you're trying to do for the one, two. So the cross, you step, bah, okay? So that is the cross by itself. So that kind of cross can initiate the two, one, two combination. So we throw the cross after we initially step. So bah, 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 okay? Now the footwork for that is four steps, but three punches. So the first step is without a punch. So 
boom, ba, 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 okay? We can also throw the right cross as a surprise with a contralateral movement. So obviously the static right cross, boom, we throw on the right foot rotation, then we step forward, ba, ba, we throw the right cross on the right foot step. Now we can throw the right cross on the left foot step. So here, ba, okay, we take a small step forward, Ba, and then we push with the back foot. So essentially you're always throwing your right cross on the rotation of the back foot, but it may come off a step from the right foot, a static position, a step out to the side, or even a step forward with your left foot. Okay, so if I demonstrate that again, ba, okay, you can see the small step that I've taken, but that is to approach our opponent and to surprise our opponent. If you're always throwing the jab on the left foot step and then you spontaneously throw your right hand on that left foot step, the defense of your opponent will be perturbed. So they will always be anticipating a jab when that foot comes forward. But when your left foot comes forward and then you throw the right cross from the other position, instead of blocking that right hand that comes through, they will be looking to block a jab, okay? So obviously, as I turn around, I step forward with the left from my jab, okay? You can see that the movement is coming from the left side, but if now I step forward with the left foot and I throw the cross, bah, okay? The defense is broken, okay? That will enable you to land your right hand as a surprise punch off the step of the left foot. With the right cross, we can throw the single right cross in many directions, okay? So obviously I've shown you how to throw it coming forward and in the same position. So the static cross is there. Moving forward, ba, ba, okay? Now moving to the sides and backwards, we can throw the right cross in a few variations as well. So as we step back, with the back foot, we can then throw the right cross as the front foot comes back. Ba, okay? Now we always want to get into the same position that we have with the static right cross, okay? So obviously the back foot rotation, the hip, the shoulders, all in line and all rotated, okay? So when we come backwards, ba, ba, okay? Now this is a common way that the right cross is thrown going backwards in the US and in the UK. The Cuban style of throwing the right cross is when we step back with the left foot, boom, and then we throw the right cross, ba, into that position, okay? So sometimes the jab can be thrown as the left foot goes back, boom, ba, okay? Or we can actually slip when the left foot goes back, so ba, ba, okay? Now from the side, that is ba, ba, okay? Now there is a slight cross of the feet, but this is to preserve the ipsilateral movement of the left hand, boom, with the left foot, ba, the right hand with the right foot, okay? Now moving out to the side, we can throw the right cross. If we step out with the right foot, as if we're slipping a jab, then we can throw the right cross as we step to the side with the left foot. Ba, okay? Now we want to angle that cross, not straight forward, but off to the side because we've slipped and stepped off line. Ba and we're directing it towards where our opponent should be. Okay, so from the side, step across, ba, okay. Now with the side step going to the left, what we want to do is step out to the left, rotate like that, ba, and then throw the right cross down the center. Obviously not central here, but over there. So we might, Take an out step, a check step, ba there, ba, and then throw the right cross going down where we believe our opponent to be. Moving obviously 
to the side so you can see that from a different angle. Take the check step, shoulder comes out to protect the chin. Bah, and then we throw the right cross there. From there, obviously we can retract the right arm and then pivot out. Okay guys, we've come to the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed the content. So when we're thinking about the right cross, we're thinking about the initial push and rotation from the back foot, the hip mobility, the shoulder position, the arm position, and also the extension of the arm with the tension at the correct time. Now, when we're able to bring together all of these elements, we're able to use our right cross as a formidable weapon against our opponents. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to share it to those that you feel may benefit from this, please do so. Leave some comments in the comment section. And also, please remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay informed of any new videos that I'm bringing out. So until my next video, I'll see you guys. Peace.